What's up everyone? Welcome back to Fake Bougie. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I installed this full lace, fully bohemian braided wig that I got from Santoc. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, you all. So this is the packaging that it came in i love the santoc bag so this bag is for you to store the wig when you are not wearing it and it is satin so i absolutely love that so these are some really cute eyelashes they sent me and they also send wig caps that are actually in my color thankfully love 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 it so this is my first time seeing an elastic band like this and I was super excited to use it. I hate having to tie them because I always get hair caught up in it when I tie it. So the fact that this is um, Velcro and it actually works, loved it. They also sent some hair jewels um, and accessories. And then they also sent a three-sided edge brush. So you get the rat tail in, you get the brush part, and you get the comb side. And this is the wig that they sent to me. It is a 36 inch goddess boho box braid, full double lace, knotless square braided lace wig. And the price that they have it at is $139. And it's, I believe, one size fits all because I wasn't able to um, get like size based on my head for the cap or anything. And it's one length and it does look really good it is all lace um it does have the combs and it also has the elastic band so you don't have to worry about any issues with that as far as it coming off and it definitely has a comb in the back too all of the braids look nice and uniform the parts are all straight and even um, i really love it i thought it was really cute the only thing that i will say is i wanted the curls in the hair to be a lot less loose to give that bow vibe and these are just straight up like curly at the end but I do like the lace it looks like it'll blend really good and I did go ahead and spray my tint spray onto the lace to match my skin tone and I will have the Brandon um, shade that I use listed in the description box below so I went ahead and installed my wig cap just because I didn't want that to, you know, take up time in the video. So I installed my wig cap, didn't do anything special to it. And then I, um, like I said, had previously sprayed the wig to match my skin tone. And this is me just trying to see how I'm going to get it to fit. The one thing that I had an issue with was trying to get it around my ear. Like there's no way to cut it because the elastic band sits right there like that's where it begins where the ear is and so I wasn't able to like cut it to make it fit me better so I had to um, spend a you know a good amount of time playing around with it seeing how I was going to get it to lay before I added the glue and y'all know how I am with my glue I just dot 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 and then I um, use the rat tail end of a comb and just smooth it in around the edge of the wig cap, like a little bit on, a little bit off onto my skin. And I just um, do a couple layers of that depending on how long I wanna wear it. So if it's just one or two days, three tops, I'll use one layer. If I wanna wear it longer, like up to four layers will give you a good week and a half to two weeks. So just keep that in mind when you're doing glue. And so once the glue semi-dried to where it became tacky, I went ahead and started placing the wig. Um, this is why it's important to play with it as far as where it's gonna sit on your hairline before you do the glue because it's really tricky since you can't really cut it anywhere. And I just want to add, I love how they did the baby hair super long and you can like customize it to your liking. Like if you like them shorter, you know you can cut them shorter. But I thought this was super cute. And so this is me just playing around with it, um, making sure that it lines up exactly how I want to. And then I, I couldn't use the comb to brush it in like I usually do. So I just held it down one side at a time until the glue was, you know, good and on there. And then I use the elastic band that they sent me. And I love this band, y'all. Um, I have definitely been using it. 
even with other wig and styles at Fulu of the band. And so once I let it dry and like really adhere to the glue and everything, after I would say I waited about 20 minutes, then I went ahead and started cutting off the lace. And this is a little tricky because like I said, you cannot cut any part of the hairline where the braid is. So you really, really have to be careful. Um, you don't have a lot of room for air and you can't really customize the hairline like you could do with a normal frontal. So yeah, be super, super careful and be mindful of like what you're doing. Do not use scissors. You still need to do a razor because even though they have the hairline pre-done, you still don't want it to look like a straight line in the lace because it's going to make your lace detectable which will make it look super wiggy and we do not want that and i'm not sure what kind of lace this is but i love that it blends so well like to me already it looks like scalp and i feel like once you do like the baby hairs and stuff that helps everything else blend in so right here you can see i put it behind my ear and I feel like that helped a lot, make it like look a lot more natural. And right now I'm just trying to like play with the baby hairs and figure out how I want them, like see what looks best on me and also see how I can get them to make the wig look more natural too. So that's all I'm doing in this part. And baby hairs are really specific to the person like everybody wears their baby hairs differently some like them long some like them short some like all the little swoops and swirls i was just playing around with this seeing um you know how i wanted to do it but i feel like this is the perfect size and amount for anybody to customize it how they want and so this is the end result love 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 the hair i just wish the curls were a lot looser but nevertheless loved it look at how natural it looks y'all like this is bomb like it looks like my hair and i owe that a lot to whatever type of lace they use and my tinting spray but this is super cute i think it'll look really great with like a scarf or something too and i feel like you can do this in different hairstyles you can do like half up half down you can do it off to one side like however you would do any other you know like if you had real box braids in your hair this is the exact same thing and i absolutely love it i thought it was so cute like i said all the parts are super straight like no imperfections at all in the parting everything looks really good this wig is super low maintenance you don't have to wash or anything so make sure you all check out Santoc if you would like to purchase this wig i will have a link below as well as any discount codes or anything that they give me thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and as always stay bougie